All right, modern setters, are you ready for the 10,000 modern setters can't be wrong? Three incubator giveaway. You want to say who the first place winner is, Olivia? Yep. Good morning, modern setters. This morning, we need to make a handle for our apple cider press. Right here is the crank. You turn this, it pushes down on this plate, which squishes the apples after they've been ground up. It makes apple juice. And we need to make a long handle that'll fit through here so we'll have some good leverage to crank this down. Let's get our tape measure out and see what is the biggest size we can get in there. So three inches is the widest. And I was thinking something around three feet long. That's 18 inches in the center. So the end of my finger right here by the tape measure to that end. That looks pretty long on the camera, but I think that's the wide angled lens. <clears throat> I think that'll give us a good amount of leverage. Now what we need to do is we need to go find the perfect hardwood tree for this that we can find. It's just got to fit perfectly. It's got to scream nice old heirloom quality apple cider press and feel good in the hands. Let's go see what we can find. Pluto, you want to go find a nice piece of hardwood? You up for that adventure? Can you handle it? Hey, I'm talking to you. Pluto, can you handle it? All right, let's go. Go for it. Then we're gonna need our saw. I can't start that thing up. It's too early in the morning. The neighbors will get mad. This isn't the proper saw, but it'll work. It's not the proper one, Wrangler Star. I'm sorry, but it's what we have here, and we're gonna use it. I know you're watching, so just close your eyes when we're cutting our tree down. All right, we're looking for a nice, straight tree. That's a good hardwood. That's a nice maple. I don't think it's thick enough, though. Let's measure. That one's only two inches. That's a nice, straight, bigger tree. But that one is ash. It's perfect size. But it's ash. I don't think we want ash for this. Let's keep looking around and see what we can come up with. We have a bunch of saplings scattered in this old road along the rock wall. That's a lot of nice maples over here. Let's see if we can find a nice straight one. Ooh, I think we spotted it right here. It's a nice maple. Yep, that's nice and straight. I don't need to go all the way to the top. But I like this area. Let's see what we got for a width. Perfect. Wait a minute, I do have the proper saw for this job. Let's go get it. There it is. All right, that's better. Wrangler Star, you'll approve of this saw. Now that we have the proper saw, All right, now that we've got the tree down, we go, say 72, that'll give us more than enough. We can make two handles. So let's cut it up here. We'll save the rest for firewood. Now we can bring it into the house and create a handle out of this. Now that we have the wood in the house, we can evaluate it a little bit nicer. There's a knot right here. That's gonna be a pain to get out. We could get it out, but we don't need it. We're only gonna need one handle. So we're gonna cut it here, 
We're gonna go 40 inches and we're gonna cut it down here. And this is gonna clean up nicely. I'm gonna show you the tools in a minute that we're gonna use this with. But first, let's get it cut to length. That's gonna be some nice maple. Flop this over, put it back in the vise. We'll cut it at 40, and if we decide to after, we can cut it back down. I'm gonna cut it down to 40. It got pretty warm this morning. I ended up having to change into shorts and a t-shirt. It's crazy. Last week we were having cold fall weather and this week we're back into the high 70s and it's muggy. Yeah, that's going to make a nice maple handle. Nice clear maple. Oh, that's going to be Beautiful, I can see it now. This is gonna be an heirloom quality tool to go along with the heirloom quality apple cider press. When you wanna make something out of wood, don't think you need to go to the store and buy a piece of lumber already cut down for you. You can start with a log. Now we need to get our draw knives out. We haven't used them in, whew, that's been a while. I haven't used the draw knives since I made log furniture in our first house. In our apartment, wow, that's been over, that's been like 10 or 12 years since I built any log furniture. Wow, time flies. Let's get the draw knives. Got one here, set that over here. We got two or three of them. Another one here. And one more right there. That should be all of them. Nope. Got another one. I don't think we're gonna need that one. That's got a different angle to it. Let's start with this one. See how that one works. They all work a little bit differently, so you never know which one we're gonna need. I've never used a draw knife on maple before. It's always been softwood and never in a vise. Let's try one of the other knives for the heck of it and see how that does. This one's working good. Ooh, I like that one a little bit better. Now I think for today, we're just gonna clean this up with a draw knife and leave it at that. We're not gonna be able to oil it yet because this wood's wet. I'd like to taper the ends, but that might be easier once the wood is dry. It's still green, as you saw. We just cut this tree down. One more thing I'm going to try doing to this. 
don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna get all the bark off first. We're almost there. Then we're gonna try it. Last bit of bark. All right, we just got a little bit more left to clean up. Now this next tool I've had just as long and I've never used it. I don't know why I never used it. Can you guess what that is? I remember if the pine logs I was using was bigger and this wouldn't work or what? But let's put it in a drill and find out how she's gonna work. Maybe I was scared. We're gonna find out. We're just gonna go slow and see what happens. Let's keep going. not giving it really the look I was hoping it was going to give it. Well, we'll see. Maybe that's why I never used it. I am liking it for somebody with smaller hands if they want to get on the end, it's nicer for them. So I'm going to try to see how deep we can get it. Let's keep going. Should be able to, yeah, I might be maxed out there. Maybe not. I can go a little bit more. Let's see how deep we can get it. I like this. <laughs> Alright, we're maxed out there. But that gives us a nice handle. Ooh. Let's spin it around and do the other side. The side's wider, so we'll see what happens. We gotta aug more off, but it's doing it. I think we're maxed out there, but that's a perfect handle width right there. I like that. Look at all them shavings. I bet that really would have been bare if that wood was all dried up being maple. Now I remember why I didn't like it. When I was making the log furniture, I liked more of a taper, and it doesn't give you a nice taper, but that's going to be nice for a handle.
I wasn't going to do this next part now, but I need to try it at least. You see these? I already got a use for these. These are one of our projects we're working on. Got so much stuff going on here at Lumna Acres. It's crazy. It's mind blowing sometimes. It's a little tiring sometimes too, but it's exciting. All right, let's get this cleaned up. I guess it would help if I plugged it in. You know what I was thinking? We never checked to see if that would fit. We better go do that now that it's all finished. It's pretty heavy. Moment of truth. Is it gonna fit? Oh, nicely. Like a glove. I like it. Fits the hand well. I like that. That looks nice. Long enough for plenty of leverage. All right, modern setters, are you ready for the 10,000 modern setters can't be wrong? Three incubator giveaway. You want to say who the first place winner is, Olivia? Yep. Clark G. Clark G. You get your choice of one of three incubators. You can pick a 36 egg incubator, 24 egg incubator, or a 12 egg incubator. I sent you an email on Friday night. I need to hear back from you by Wednesday, or we're going to choose another winner. And the second place winner was... Lindsay S. And Lindsay, if you could pick two incubators that you would want, because Clark's going to get first choice, You'll get second choice, and we need to hear back from you also by Wednesday. And I sent you an email on Friday night as well. And the third place winner is Bill H. Bill, we sent you an email. We heard back from you already. Thank you, Bill. And you're going to get the choice of the incubator that is left over, and we'll send that out from Coops and More as soon as we hear back from everybody. So this is awesome. We can't wait to hear what everybody's going to be using their incubators for. Right? I want to see all the baby chicks. I know. If you're hatching out chicks, what breed you're hatching out, or if you're doing partridge, ducks, this will be fun. So, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at. Love the acres, a guy to modern homestead, so sufficient scene freedom. Bye. Bye. Put a breath really bad. Make sure you get a cat.